Hey guys, it's Nailbiter, and I'm doing another World of Tanks video. Uh, this is a round I had a few weeks ago with my Type 59 on I think its favorite map, Malinovka. Although this round actually happened to be a little more interesting than the typical camp fest that you get on this map. And uh, as you can see, I fast forwarded the first like, 30 seconds or so. It's just me climbing up the hill. Uh, and uh, I wanted to show this uh, this gameplay because it was, I think, the first time I'd gotten patrol duty, which I think is kind of a weird medal. I, I'm actually not sure what the exact uh, you know, qualifications are for the medal, uh, but I know it it's, uh, has to do with your the, you know, the spotting damage that you did, so just keeping enemy tanks lit while your teammates do damage to them. And I think I got close to 4,000 of spotting damage in this round. Uh, and uh, so the other reason I wanted to, to show this video is because uh, it's also a pretty good example of what a great tank the Type 59 is and how, how good its armor really is. And I bought the Type 59 the last time it went on sale in the gift, s in the gift shop and uh, it, it's such a fun tank. It, uh, partly I think it's because I, I enjoy it so much because I really like the medium tanks. I think my favorite tanks besides the Type that I've played are probably the T20 and the IS-3 so both pretty mobile tanks. And so the Type 59 really complements my play style pretty well and it has pretty good armor too as you'll see later. And so uh, there, you know, I was kind of being a little lazy with my aim. I uh, didn't end up taking the guy out, but probably should have been a lot faster than that. I, uh, it was actually the new uh, French uh, Tier 8 Heavy Tank Premium, uh, which uh, or Heavy Premium Tank, which I actually also bought. And I've actually liked playing it so far. It's a sort of similar play style. Um, so here you can see our team's kind of getting uh, pushed from the field, which is pretty rare. You don't see enemy any teams really do that very often on this map, especially in like higher tier battles. And uh, we're kind of losing some, losing some of the guys back at base. And uh, I just spotted that Cairn, the tier eight British heavy there in the field. I'm trying to see if I can get another uh, shot on him. Although you know it's probably tough for me to pen him from the front at this range. And uh, so as you can see, we keep losing guys, and uh, everybody else that was with me on the hill ends up going back. And I take another shot at the Cairn, but it misses or it uh, you know, hits for no damage. Uh, that's one thing I noticed: the voice cues seem to be off sometimes. Uh, in uh, you know when you're shooting enemy tanks, they sometimes say one thing, and when in fact you know the, the what happened is actually different. And so at this point, I decide to go back. Uh, as I, and there you can see the enemy Type 59 just got killed. So I know, since I spotted the Tiger 2 and the, the Cairn, I know that there are no other Tier 8 tanks in the field um, uh, and t other on the enemy's team. And so I decided to just go all the way back, uh, just kind of leaving those other guys there, because they're pretty slow tanks. They're not going to really get anywhere anytime soon. And we've got a bunch of the Tier 8s are sort of sitting up here by the church. So I decided to just go straight back. And, uh, and uh, you know, I'll start spotting some guys here in a second. And I just decide, you know, I'm just going to keep going all the way through and, you know, not stop and, and take any shots at anybody. Because I think, you know, one of the things that, you know, the Type 59 has good armor, but it, its mobility is also a real, real big advantage when you're playing this tank. So I decided to just go straight in there. There's a spot that E2, which gets taken out pretty quickly. And, uh, but we're still down a couple tanks, although we haven't lost any tier 7 tanks yet, or tier 8 tanks rather, uh, which is, you know, it's important when, uh, when you know, you're paying attention to that, uh, just in game. So I decided to go straight at this R who pens me a couple times from the front. He was probably using gold because I don't think the R's uh, gun could do that if it, just with its regular penetration. And I decided to just sort of circle these guys, um, <laughs> kind of get a little lucky here. I decided to go for the 122-44 because I know his, ga his gun has the highest damage. Get a little lucky there where he misses as I try to back up. And, uh, you know, at, at this point I'm kind of low on hit points. And, uh, you know, I know I can take him out before he shoots again. So now I've taken one enemy out and we're back to uh, you know, this level amount of, of tanks. And I'm just trying to take shots at, uh, at the enemies that are around me. And uh, there's a KV-3 behind me, but as you'll see in a second, he doesn't have the top gun, so I know he's not that much of a threat, really. And I just don't want to get pinned in, so I try to circle him. And uh, now I'm more worried about the Yag Panther there that's coming towards me, because I know he could probably pin me. And uh, I end up tracking him there, and you can see I'm just completely ignoring that KV-3, uh, because his gun just can't do anything against my armor. And uh, <laughs> you can see I'm surrounded now by three tanks, getting shot at from from all different sides and uh, but these guys can't really pen me very well so or consistently so you know I'm still alive there <laughs> I'm down to like 37 hit points 
trying to use that KV3 as cover against uh, his own teammates. And uh, luckily that Yag Panther missed me again there. I'm, you know, he might have been able to kill me if that shot had hit. But uh, teammate takes him out, and you know I know this KV3 can't do anything against me. And uh, so it's pretty much over there. The IS3 gets the ram kill. Uh, so, <laughs> and uh, you know I'm pretty sure all of the damage that my teammates was doing there goes as spotting damage for me, just because I was in the middle of all those enemy tanks, and, and, you know keeping them lit up. And uh, so at this point the game is just about over now. Um, there's a couple tier 8 heavies over by the church, but I'm pretty confident my allies are going to be able to take care of that. And uh, so I, and I thought this round was a pretty good example of, you know, first of all, just how good the Type 59 is, I think. Uh, and not just that, because I think it's a lot of fun to play. It's a pretty unique playing style in that, you know, you can you know, really go all over the place. You can go all over the map. It's a mobile tank. Uh, but it also has good armor, so you can you can bounce quite a few shells, and you know no other tank really has that same combination of of you know mobility and armor, uh, which is why I think it's so much fun. And you know I know people make the argument that it's a bit overpowered, but uh, and they they actually did buff it in the recent patch, which was kind of surprising, uh, kind of compensation for not coming out with the Chinese tank line, I think, but. Anyway, uh, you know, so the Type 59 is a really fun tank, and I end up getting Steel Wall as well, Steel Wall and Patrol Duty in this map during this, uh, this round, and I think I ended with close to 1400 experience, so it was a pretty fun round, I kind of missed that, it was a bad miss on the Tiger, I should have killed him, but I wanted to make sure I didn't die, so I rushed the shot, but anyway, here are the end plates, hope you guys enjoyed the round, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.